Hi and thanks for joining. It's a meet from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you step by step how to use the Masonry blog post widget to create your own archive page for your blogs. So, I'm inside of Unlimited Elements inside of WordPress and I want to search for the post grid widget. So, I'm using the search box over here. I'm going to search for post and under post grid you can see all the different layouts that we have available and if you click preview for example you can see the preview and how those layouts look so the one I'm looking for is masonry so it's over here if we click preview we can see a preview of how it looks and the next step is hovering over it and clicking install so once you install unlimited elements all of these skins are not installed on your website so you can choose which ones you want to add and which ones you want to delete later on if you installed it by mistake so that's pretty nice next thing I'm going to do is I'm going into templates theme builder and I'm going to go into archive inside of archive we're going to add a new archive and if you want you can give that a name and create template now now instead of using any of the existing templates that uh, uh, Elementor suggests us to use I'm going to close this and in the search widget search box I'm going to look for the widget that I just installed inside of Unlimited Elements. Drag that inside. And as you can see, now we have a masonry layout for our archive blog page. Now, let's go over the settings and see what we can change. So the first thing we can change is the background color of the content. So for example, if I have a green website, I can change that to green. And now the overlay is green. Next thing I can change is how many columns are in each device, so in desktop, tablet, and mobile. Let's just look how it looks if I want four columns or if I want two columns. And I can change it back to three if I want. So for each device uh, breakpoint, we can choose how many columns we want. Next thing is the content alignment. So if I'm going to change that to left, now we can see that the content alignment is left. If I change it to right, we can see it's changed to right. Let's change it back to center. Next thing we can change is the content padding. So this is the padding inside of the overlay. So let's just change that to 40 pixels to see how it looks when we have more padding inside of that. Next thing we can change is the gap between items. This is the gutter also the right and left gutter and the bottom and top gutter so we can change that for example if we don't want any gutter at all gonna change that to zero and that gives us a unique looking kind of layout next thing we can turn off and turn on the title and description so if I turn off the title you can see that we don't have any title anymore this can be useful for all sorts of layouts you want to achieve and uh, for maybe uh, if you're doing a portfolio or something like that and you don't have intro text you can just turn that off last setting is very useful it's for making uh, the layout a bit different so the layout we have selected right now is using a, an overlay for the text and if, if we don't want that uh, the text will show only on overlay and uh, we can choose it to show under the image so this is great let's uh, turn back the gap or make the gap bigger and you can see we achieved a cool looking layout as well the other settings uh, for the query that we're doing for our blog uh, post list are under query and over here you can choose how many posts you want to display the order you want to display them or if you have any different kind of uh, post source you can choose that post source as well you can uh, 
choose different kind of post types so if you have a custom type of post type it will work as well and that's about it for this tutorial don't forget that this widget can work also inside of an Elementor page and also inside of an archive theme builder template thank you for joining and see you next time